Okay, the graph of y equals 16 minus x squared is shown below for values of x from 0 to 3. Use the trapezium rule of four ordinates, x is 0, 1, 2, and 3, to estimate the area of the region bounded by the curve x-axis and y-axis and the line x equals 3. So ordinates here, basically you're going to have trapeziums. Okay, so you can think of these as trapeziums if you turn it on its side. So I will t always tend to do that as well, join those corner points, they literally look like trapeziums. Okay, and then I call them then, it's up to you what you want to call them, I call them trapezium 1, trapezium 2, trapezium 3. So area then of 1. Now the trapezium rule is given, the formula for trapezium is um, half A plus B H, that's given to you on the front page, so you've got half. Now your A will be that there, which um, with that length there, which I think that takes you to 16 if I'm right. Okay, so I've done my scale right, yeah, so that's 16, plus then your B, which is that there, that length there, which is 15. And then h, so times h, times the distance between them, which is 1. So, you know, use the calculator if it's in the calculator paper. This can come up in a non-calculator as well. So 15.5. <coughs> Area 2. Again, same formula. 15 there is your a. And your b then is that value there, which I think is 12, if I'm right. Yeah. Times then the height between them, which is also 1. So if you do that in your calculator, you get 13.5. And area 3, half, you've got your 12 there, plus then your length there, which is 7, times then the type between them, which is 1. So that's um, 9.5 when you work that out on your calculator. So all you've got to do then is add these up. Let's change that there, did that wrong. Just add these up and I get my answer then which is 38.5 okay so that's the area there you don't need to put units okay because um because it's talking about y in terms of x there if you want to you put units squared job done